Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my studio. Today, I'm going to teach you how to connect your Stream Deck to OBS Studio. Uh, and a Stream Deck is one of the best pieces of hardware you can get to control your live stream, your recording, your production, live while you're doing it using physical buttons. Let me just show it to you so you know what I'm talking about. If you're not already familiar, this is it right here in the corner. This is my actual Stream Deck. Today, I'm going to program into the Stream Deck software live for you using OBS, and then you'll be able to see how it physically pops up buttons on the screen here that allows you to record, switch between scenes, stream, do multi-actions, shut off sources, mute your mic, you name it, the Stream Deck can do it. I'm gonna teach you all of those basic functions in this video. And if you're interested in purchasing a Stream Deck, they're very affordable. There's a mini version, this is the regular version, and there's also an XL version, depending on how many buttons you want your Stream Deck to have. Cool? Let's get into it. First things first, within OBS, I need you, as always with my tutorials, create a new profile and create a new scene collection and name it something that you recognize. The next step for you is going to be to create a new scene, two of them, and just make sure that the visuals in those two scenes are different, okay? So I've got start and end as mine. And the point of doing that is so that you can tell that your Stream Deck is working when we program in some of these functions as you're learning how to use the Stream Deck. Cool? Also, you will need to have the Stream Deck software installed on your computer, link in the description below. And the Stream Deck software is right over here. And what you'll do is click this drop down right under Stream Deck, and you'll go to New Profile. Whenever you create a new profile, it's gonna put this Elgato branded button in the center. Just delete it. You don't need it. Great, let's go over the basic functions of the Stream Deck and what it can do for OBS. All of those functions are drag and drop over here on the right hand side. You can take these and just drop them into this kind of software based squares here, and then they will appear down here on your actual Stream Deck. Drag and drop, it's pretty cool. However, it does require some programming to get it to work right. Let me show you what I mean. So if we wanna switch between scenes, we take scene, drag and drop it here. Go ahead and name it something. So I'm gonna call mine start because that's the name of my scene in OBS. Then as we're programming this button, choose your scene collection that you just made. Mine is called Stream Deck Demo. Then you'll select the scene that you want that to trigger when you hit the button. Great. So when I hit this button right here, it'll go to the scene that we're currently on. But let's do something a little bit more interesting. Let's add another scene. I'll put it over here. And this one will be called End. You choose your collection, go ahead and select the scene, you know the drill. And then now if I click End, it goes to this scene. If I hit Start, it goes to this scene and vice versa. Pretty cool, right? Now you can switch between scenes with the press of a button without having to click through OBS. It's a really, really nice little uh, function to have. All right, but there's more than that available in the Stream Deck. You can also turn on and off audio sources as needed. So I'm gonna drop Mixer Audio here onto our pane. And I'm gonna call this, let's say, Mic. And if I want to mute my mic on and off, I click the button here to program it. We select our collection and then you select the name of the audio input that you're trying to mute. It's probably gonna be called mic or whatever it is in yours. I've added mine here within OBS, you can see it. My mic is popping up right here in the audio mixer. I know it's called audio input capture. And so what I'm doing is I'm programming a function here in the stream deck to where I can turn my mic on and off at the press of a button. Are you ready? Watch this. Right now you can see levels, I press it, it mutes it and now you don't see any levels. I press it again, it unmutes it. Press it again, it mutes it. And you'll get visual feedback within OBS that this has happened down here when you see the little mute symbol. And you'll also get visual visual feedback on your stream deck as the, as the light gets brighter or gets dimmer, depending on whether it's active or not. So now you can mute your mic on the fly using a physical button. This can also include music or any other type of audio source, which is really cool in OBS. Other functions that make a lot of sense and will be self-explanatory are like record. Notice how I'm putting the buttons pretty far away from each other. <laughs> I highly recommend doing that so you don't have any accidental presses. But record is easy. You just literally put the record button on there and when you hit record, watch, it will start recording. That's it. And then you hit the button and it stops recording in OBS. That's it. It's really, really simple. No further explanation needed than that. 
The same thing is the case for stream. You just drag stream, pop it in there. I'm not going to do the hit this button because it'll probably mess up my recording, but stream is exactly the same. Whatever streaming function you have programmed in to your OBS, it'll just start streaming instantly when you hit that physical stream button that you just put on the deck. That is incredible. I love it so much. The last function from OBS that you can do is source. So any type of source at all that you bring into your OBS, you can use this to basically manipulate that source. So what I mean by that is you can choose a scene collection, you can choose a scene, which we're gonna do end, and then we can choose our image. And what we can do, we'll call this image for now, and what I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what it does. It allows you to turn on and off any source, basically. Any image source, any video source, anything like that. So let's go to our end scene, here we are. And I programmed into our source button that it manipulates the image. It could be anything, guys. It could be your mic, it could be a video, it could be gameplay, it could be anything. When I hit it, it makes the source go away. When I press it, it makes the source come back. So you can make anything go away with the press of a button and make anything come back with the press of a button by using source, okay? That's what source does, it's great. Now that you have these basic tools available to you, you can now use what is, I think, the most interesting feature of a Stream Deck, which is the multi-action. I'm gonna drag this, this is under the Stream Deck category over there on the right. Multi-action, I'm going to do a very basic multi-action for you today. And we're gonna call this break. So let's say you're doing a stream and you want to go on break and there's a couple things that you want to do when you're going on break on your stream. Just go with me. This is just an example. The first thing that you may want to do when you go on break is you go to one of your scenes, right? So maybe you have a break scene. I'm just going to call mine end, right? Because that's my, what's mine, what mine is called. But let's say you go to a particular scene. Cool. But when you go to that particular scene and you're about to go on break, perhaps you want your mic to be muted when that happens. You can drag in mixer audio, and then you can type in mic. And then you can select under audio to deactivate that particular source whenever you go on break. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and test this. So we're currently on start, and whenever I hit the break multi-action, let's see if it did it correctly. There it is. Notice how it went to this next scene, and it muted my mic at the same time. So we can go back to start, okay, and then we'll need to go on break. There it is. Now here's something you need to know about multi-action, and for those of you that tuned in to this part of the video, this is something that you're probably seeing now. I hit break and it muted my mic, and then when I went back to my other scene, it did not unmute my mic. So if you're going to use things like multi-actions to deactivate or activate things, You'll need to use multi-actions to go back to things that were there before. Make sense? So let's go ahead and do that now as a part of this demo. So I've got break. Let's go ahead and create a multi-action. That's called, it's not break, it's, we'll call it live. All right. And so when we're live, we'll drag in a scene here. We'll call this one start. And then we will unmute our mic by bringing in mixer audio. We will activate the mic whenever we're live. You get it? So now we have live as a button here. I click it and here we go. I go on break. It goes to the second scene and it mutes my mic. I click live. It goes to the first scene and it unmutes my mic. Get it? Break. Live. So that is the power of the Stream Deck. That is what I wanted to show you today. The multi-actions allow you to program really complex systems and features within the Stream Deck that would otherwise be a huge pain in the ass to mute your mic, to go on break, to set up scenes, to show an image on the screen, to show a poll, to show social media. All these different things can all be programmed within this physical piece of hardware. Once again, Link in the description below if you want to check it out and you want to buy one yourself. I very, very highly recommend it. All the professional live streamers I work with, I got them to buy one of the stream decks. I programmed it for them and they love it. It just makes a life a lot easier. It's one 
less set of things you need to worry about. You need to focus on entertaining your audience, right? Delivering the content, delivering the message, not clicking a million tiny little buttons in OBS. That's the power of the Stream Deck. Let me know if you have any questions about the Stream Deck in the comments below. I'm happy to help you. And thank you so much for watching. Happy creating, everybody. Hope you enjoy this new sick piece of hardware.